and I think that part still tears me the most. But I don't know. It'd be awesome if Markiplier could ever play it. I don't know if he'd ever. I, I don't know if if any of what I wrote in there will be caught. Like these are subtle things that you have to connect. These are subtle things you just have to put together with like little pieces. And rhetorical analysis was always one of the funnest things. Uh, I, I know that's weird. Um, in eleventh grade, I had English AP, and I always loved those like rhetorical analysis uh, essays. And I love breaking down stuff like this, but I know a lot of people don't do that sort of thing. And I, I don't know. I, I just knew that a lot of what was there wasn't actually seen. So I, I thank you all for letting me share that experience with you. Because up till now, the only person who's uh, been with me through this is Kyler. Okay, thank you for stopping by and staying here for like most of the time. Damn, so awesome. I'm gonna try my comp again real quick. Thank you so much, Kamiyana. Uh, I hope Sharon. <laughs> but yeah, but I, I don't know how much of this. I, I mean, I'm talking to two people who have beaten the game before, or seen the end, and I don't know if that entire message came off, but I, I've said from the beginning, none of the dialogue is necessarily frivolous, but at the end of the day, I just wanted a game that could make someone happy and inspire them all at the same time. I don't know the impact uh, to people who don't know the specific people, because in, in the beginning they weren't all even supposed to be from the same group, but just everybody shared so many amazing stories with me, it's like, how, how can I not, <laughs> you know? I keep looking that way at the chat, because I'm waiting for you guys to talk, but I should really be looking there. I don't know, I'll train myself better. Uh, pending. But, and I mean... Kyler jumped out of his way to help me, and he didn't even know half the story. Yeah, you should go to sleep. Uh, if, if I blab, if I blab anymore, you can probably catch the end. Uh, well, I, I called Kyler uh, with an idea once it became serious. Uh, Kyler didn't know anything about the story. I just kind of. Uh, Tyler didn't know anything about the story, he just kind of took a leap of faith and I said, Hey, I've got this really awesome idea for a Markiplier fan game, and if it wasn't, I wouldn't be telling you about this. And he obviously knows that I was serious when I said that. So, I mean, he was ecstatic to do it, and we thought it'd take a short week like eight hours a day and then it grew bigger and bigger and bigger and just more things and more ridiculous code and more uh, more game stuff, more sprites we needed, more research we needed, just more everything. And then we had to balance the battle system which is probably still a little broken because the end is a piece of shit. Well, it's, it's getting there for sure. I don't know, if I made it too much harder though you'd be like HP, MP, HP, MP every fucking turn. I don't know. Almost at a perfect balance, but... The point is... That... Something in me said, this game needs to be made. And I don't know why. But I'm... Right now, I'm glad I did it. But... Uh... Yeah. So, I, I'm glad I called him, especially because I was gonna do it on my own, but I was like two fucking <laughs> tutorials into RPG Maker, and I was like, oh, okay, <laughs> this is gonna get hairy. 
but I, I knew he had the thing and he'd been trying to make a game. And I'm... I, I could never pay him back for that. And... I, I want to say one other thing about my letter. Kyler didn't know a thing about what I wrote there. <laughs> oh god. Kyler didn't know that I asked him to link to his channel or anything. Kyler didn't know that I asked that maybe one day they could do something together. I, I just know that that would make Kyler happier than hell. <laughs> and I really could <sighs> There's so many people I can't pay back for this. And I can't believe it was actually done. He didn't know any of that. I, I hope it didn't seem like a selfish attempt to force Markiplier's hand into doing anything. He just deserves every good thing that can come to him. He didn't have to do shit. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I can't get emotional. <laughs> I appreciate everything he did to help this. I just want to make sure people know he wasn't part of that. I read through that and I'm like, God, it feels like I'm just trying to box him in. Uh, was it? It's just that would be really cool for him. Because he deserves like everything. And, and if I'm to get popular or something or get into a better place to help more people, I'll do it. I will. I haven't been promoting my channel once on this game. I haven't put anything here. I, I don't even know what I want to do in life, but more specifically, I, I don't want to do that for myself. But I, I, I would give the world back to Kyler for this game. And I know that would be, like, unbelievable for me. I, I know it just sounds like now that I'm talking to Kyler a lot, but he really deserves a lot. I mean, he gave up a month of just... I mean, his channel's on the rise. He's like at 1,300 subscribers. He, he gave up a lot to come down for literally three weeks to work 20 hours a day without sleep. He came to me... He came with me to work. <laughs> like, I work a full-time job. <clears throat> Eight hours a day, five days a week. And he came with me to work, because we're just each other's motivation on this project. <clears throat> However, a few sex jokes did come up between us while we worked, but that's like just bro love stuff. That's okay. I'm married. I've got a wife. She's asleep right now. She probably hates me for uh, still being up. <laughs> but... He did so much. He didn't have to do anything. <laughs> I mean, no one did. No one had to respond to me. This, this game didn't have to be made. <laughs> and now I know I'm just traveling on, but... I, I guess... My dream is to make people happy. <sighs> I, I mean, that's where, that's where my line in the letter, I knew you in a way, comes from, because... I share that goal, and I know that I'm not in a position that I can influence so many people, and if this game gets to it, it can be a little, like, spark in his day. I, I don't know what that would do. That, that would drive me nuts. That would be awesome. <sighs> uh, I'm getting emotional just from talking about stuff. And I really can't thank the other three enough. Uh, the other four. I, I can't. Like, they shared so much with me. Like, their experiences. A lot of personal trials. Like, like they shared a lot. 
In fact, at first I was going to put more in this game, but I scaled back on that because I didn't want to put that big a spotlight on them. They, they shared a lot, their likeness, and they're real people. Like, regardless of the fact that you know them, they're real people. Like, like four likes on a video. That's four real people who were born, who have had experiences, who have had bad times. I know I'm a real person too. I, I, I just, just the things you can do to inspire and change people's lives. It's, it's amazing. And I mean, that's what this game's about. It's not it's like Markiplier's the main hero, but it's really the person playing. And I, they've. To me, in my mind, they become bigger than what they are in the game. They're just symbols of the people that you save every day. I, I know eventually this game is going to get outdated, and it's going to be more than eight, uh, more than seven million, like eight million, nine million, and it'll grow, and other people grow, and eventually the game won't matter because it's a fan game. But it, it truly holds something. It's, it's truly special to me. And I'm, I'm glad I didn't just throw away the idea. I was so close. Like 12 times. Once midway through production we thought we were going to quit. Because Kyler just had too many obligations and we couldn't continue. We got here, and it's awesome. So, <laughs> and I don't know what else more, what 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 more I can really say. And I think I, I can't say enough for everybody in the Mark Players Heroes group. I, I came to that group specifically looking for people for this game. I was already dedicated to the game by the time I got there. But just the way that they helped us and like made us feel like like we could do it without even knowing what the fuck we were doing. <laughs> we were making a fan game. <sighs> I'm dribbling on a lot longer than I should be. And I know I am. But we were making a fan game and we didn't tell anybody the premise. In fact, the demo we released was literally like a tenth of what we had done at that time. But that's just because we felt like we wanted to let people know. And I can't even thank you enough, Elise, personally. I mean, I saw the pin post. I, I know, that's a funny thing going on. Pin post. <laughs> oh, go read the pin post. Go read the pin post. Yeah, I read the pin post. And by the way, I'll respect Wade in the group, but I kind of like that dynamic because it reminds me a lot of me and my friends because I'm usually like the Wade of my friends. If I haven't said that enough. Like, shut up, Wade. <laughs> like the old game. <laughs> so, it's... it's uh, so... But besides that rule... But besides that... It's like, that's fine. I understand. I'm, I'm not even a big... I'm not a mega fan. I'm really not. I enjoy watching some of his videos sometimes, but... I got compelled to do this. And that's why I had to do so much research. But I don't know. Now I, I assume I only have two people left. Uh, I will see if, if it even becomes a thing. I don't know if it will. There, there's no solid story or anything, but. There is a potential sequel Kyler and I have. <laughs> if this game goes over well. Like, it already has. But it's a lot of work to, like, work for free for that many hours to give up that much of your life. Like, we underestimated it terribly. But if we were to do a sequel, 
And you might think, sequel? Well, how could you do a sequel? Believe me, <laughs> we have a sequel that would work. On the street? I don't know what that means. Sorry, did I do something? But believe me, it, it would work. Like, we've already done our high fives, and like, holy shit, bro, that's like, really? But, I don't know. It's, it's like an idea that's like 5 to 10%. Uh, five to ten percent possibility, because we would we would make it bigger, better, and more awesome than this game. <laughs> but it's it's not a big possibility right now. Like I'm telling you two, because you two are literally the only ones here. I don't even know if Kyler would want me to say anything, because we talked about it. We know where it would go. We don't have anything more than that right now. But, I mean... I don't know if we would do something like shareware, like, asking for donations for our time. Because that's bullshit to me, too. But it's not, again, because it's like, so much time we give up, and... Oh my god, he's getting amazing on his channel. I don't know. None of the logistics, not a damn thing has worked out there. <laughs> but, something to wet your chops, the, the idea exists that's uh, way different than this game, by the way. Uh, but I, I don't want to say anything more, especially if it doesn't happen, which it might not. Especially, you know, life, you just move on with things. I mean, game making is something Kyler wants to pursue. Me, I'm not really a game developer. I'm a storyteller. But if I had the opportunity to do that through a game again, that would be awesome. <laughs> and we know where we'd start, we just don't know where it would end up or anything along those lines. So, uh, yeah. That was Dream.exe, though. And I, I hope all the loose ends are patched up for you, because literally from the beginning all the way to the end, It's an emotional ride, and I, I hope you guys enjoyed it. But we'll we'll see what happens. But I hope Markiplier plays it. I don't know if he'll get it. Maybe he'll inquire more. That would be like fucking surprising as hell if he did. But I I, I don't know. Like I said, if, if Kyler ever got to do anything with him because of this, I would be happier than hell because that's really the only way I could pay him back. Uh, but yeah, that's the game. I'm so glad I didn't have to explain or hand out uh, what the game was about at the very beginning. I, I figured that a lot of the concepts may or may not be uh, not skipped, but like just subtle things that I put in throughout may have gone unnoticed as frivolous, like, like why people didn't like the blue suits, but I, mean, I think I've explained that pretty good here. So I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop the stream. I, I appreciate all the effort uh, you're putting into getting this to him. <laughs> I, I hope it does good things for him. I hope it does good things for Kyler. I hope it does good things for everyone who sees it. At least something. Like, everyone deserves it. But, yeah, I'm gonna stop the stream. I'm, I'm gonna wait a few seconds, though, because I know if I stop it on my end before you're done with the video, then it just cuts out abruptly, and that's never good. So, yeah. Thank you so much. I, I'll see you guys in the group. Or whoever, if you're watching this anywhere else. Because this game's for everyone, really. Even if you're not a fan of Mark Player. The references might be lost, but like Kyler said, it's still a heartfelt game. But, okay. I, I guess, as Mark Player would say, uh, I'll see you 
in the next vin in the next in the next video. Bye bye.